right, Dave. So remember we talked earlier, we're going to come up here and see how they laid this roof up. This right. Upper roof. So this building is approximately 500 feet long, approximately 150 foot wide, right? Yes. So the contractor, what he did, he ran his sheets the long way. This way, yeah. Point A to point B, and on each end, he brought them into the wall, up and over from this on this end and down at that end. Right. Utilizing that sheet. It's a flashing, right? Absolutely. And what did they do with the Rhino Bond plates there? Base attachment. Base attachment for their flashing. Now, if you look over here, they kind of did the same thing. Rather than have a two piece wall flashing here and here, he actually took the first sheet that he started with, brought that up and over the wall on this side. And then on the opposite side did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, mechanically attached, you can't really do that. No, you can't because you have to have the plate underneath the flashing. Right. That's a two-piece flashing. Two-piece flashing. So right. if you're doing a mechanically attached system, you take that sheet in there, cut it off at the, at the deck or with a, at the angle change, right. drop screws and plates, and bring an entire piece down over separate. That's a lot of wall flashing you have that to is. deal with. That so is. this is another advantage of utilizing a write how you can take that up the wall. Mm -hmm. So another option was to turn one on the end wall like mm -hmm. they did on the side walls. So here what they've done, they've taken their field sheets and they've ran up the wall. Mm -hmm. So every 12 feet, we have a vertical seam, right? Correct. So how many welds do we have there? What we got? An outside angle change, an inside angle change. On the top, yeah. And then an angle down change at the, at the bottom. Right. And then also, what do we have there where the robot can't get in the wall? A start uh, stop and stop. And start, yeah. So what we have there, four four welds? Right. So every 12 feet, we've got a, all those we have to address by hand. And if you turn a sheet and go long ways, we're going to have what? One every, one every 100, yeah, 100 feet. feet. Yeah. So we might have two of those we have to deal with. Right. So again, that's another way to lay it out. It is. Remember, with, with Rhino Bond, you can change sheets as long as your fasteners hit the top of the flutes and are in a pattern. Let me ask you this question. All these sheets are running this way. Mm -hmm. Could we not run them this way? Oh, you absolutely could. You could run them from there to the peak, belly band it, or custom lengths. Strap it. Is that what you're thinking? Cut the custom length. A custom length. This is 150, set. let's call it 150 foot long. Okay, take 24 off that, be 125. Because yeah. you would take a 12 footer and run yes. that way. Yeah. And a 12 footer run down that wall and then tuck them underneath. Yeah. Right? So let me ask you this, it's roof straining this way. Right. If we were to strap them, okay, and run our 12 footers and run it underneath, would I not have a backwards lap down here? It would. Do we care? No. Why? Because if it's welded properly, it won't leave. It's not an issue. Now, if you can see down here, there's the end of their 100 foot run. So let's go down here and see how they attack that. Okay. 100 foot by 12, right? Yep. They did a nice line, lining all these up. Got you. So it's nice and straight. So they ran them 100 feet, and then there's there's their next 100 foot run. There's their other end laps down there. Right. Yeah. And then another set down there. Mm -hmm. They got their T-joint patches on there. Mm -hmm because we require 60 mil and above. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong in the way this roof is laid up. No, no. Let's talk about some other ways to lay this up. What are we gonna save? A little bit of time, a little bit a little bit of money, a little Correct. bit of labor, right? Yes. Another way that you can do this is put a belly band here. So turn a sheet, run it the way, across, perpendicular to these sheets. They can bury all those cut edges, weld this on top, flop it over for your night seal, what have you. The next day, when you're ready to go, you just flip it back. Run your other ones underneath, and away you go. End of the day, flop it back, you're going to have one band that runs perpendicular to these sheets all the way across this entire roof. That's perfect, and you don't need to cut the sheet. Nope. Just lay it right in, and away you go. Eliminate yeah. cut edge. T-joints, yeah, you're still going to have them, but you're going to have them regardless. Right. And you're going to actually, the size of these T-joints are this big. Yeah. You can actually put a regular small T-joint right. on Small T-joint, right. Yes.